Well, it was 50 years ago today that Zoomer Media CEO and founder Moses Neimer would flip the on switch for the station known as City TV. City Pulse News, the stories you need to know to understand Toronto. September 28, 1972 is also known for setting the record for the largest TV audience in history at that time, which you might assume was for City TV, but was actually for Team Canada's Game 7 victory over the Soviets. City News dropped by the Zoomerplex to chat with Moses about the station he co-founded that means so much to so many people of all ages. I grew up watching City TV my whole life. I came from an immigrant family. They moved to Canada. It was the station that they felt comfortable watching. Right. Well, I'm pleased that people remember. I'm pleased that you have an interest and that your station still have an interest and, and that my role in the founding of this uh, institution is, uh, is remembered. And, and what pleases me most of all is that people think of that original City TV with a, a lot of affection. When I said I was coming to interview Moses Snymer to my mom, let's just say, she knew who you were. When I said it to my aunt, she knew who you were. But people certainly know what impression you left in the city. They know that you created fashion television or they know that you created much music or whatever. Like there's are still legacies and you've done so much more. And on this day of reflection and appreciation for the past, we're also looking towards the future. With Zoomer Media's recent acquisition to Blog TO and Daily Hive, we're hosting a special Come to Moses revival meeting where new employees can ask coworkers, Who are you and what do you do? as they tour the different departments here at the Plex. The content you'll see on the website is my team. Um, some of who are in this room right now are fantastic writers and editors. Blog TO and Daily Hive combined really does reach uh, a national audience. We own essentially the East Coast and the West Coast. 50 years ago was when Moses launched City TV. And it's also the day that the Daily Hive deal finally closed. The TSX just gave the approval. I've followed what Moses has done back in the day from a media empire stuff right, and what he's built. And then when I met him, I was like, this is the guy I want to work with to kind of really take digital to the next level. He did it when he started City TV. He did it when he went after the boomer generation. And now with Gen Z, he's done it again. To learn more about Moses' personal story and the creation of channels like City TV, Much Music, Bravo, and many, many more, visit MosesNimerWay.com.